All right, let's see how well this works. Or doesn't work. Hmm. Can we do random? That's crazy hair. Let me just go bald. Why does he have to have tattoos? Alright, whatever, fine. Sure. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now he's bald. <laughs> Those are wild pants. That someone goes together. Normal's fine. Let's see if this even works right. A long time ago, on the continent of Arana, the once magnificent empire of stars had crumbled into oblivion. Paralyzed by its own power hungry legion. Torn asunder by an ancient, merciless evil. But the Tenth Legion, the dying empire's most valiant soldiers and most trusted, withdrew far to the west, to a land called Ed, seeking to preserve what their empire had lost. Here, in the rugged mountains and the rich valleys of their new home, they founded the kingdom for them. A kingdom that has embraced peace and freedom for 300 years. But, there was a price. Few now remember the evil that opposed them. Fewer still recall the dark sorceries cast to save them. And none could foretell that one humble father would stand between a vengeance from the past and the survival of the kingdom. The Krog are attacking. I couldn't hold them back. You have long been my friend. Can do nothing more for old Nook. Go to Stonebridge. Find Gjorn. The Krog have elsewhere betrayed us. Your bravery will be needed by the king. Go. So this game came out in 2002 and the audio track from this game is absolutely phenomenal. Um, there is spells, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't over remember how to play but this game has the best freaking soundtrack ever. Space Brothers pause. <laughs> this is so ridiculous.
you can change freely between any skills. I don't remember key bindings. It's been so long. Crazy tab. Um, oh, I can switch it. Okay. Putting like insects, bugs, and these like that look like goblins, I guess. Just spawned out of a bush. This is the game that got me into ARPGs, and I am. I just auto attack if I need to. Nice. Oh, that's what this is for. I think this. Yeah, transforms objects on the ground into gold. Such a useful spell. Active spell 2. We'll put that right here. I think if I go like this, right? sorts of secret paths in here. I can make it so I can make the game play it. I forgot you could do this. Now I don't have this on, but I could like he's on engage, so he'll just freely engage any enemies around, which is nice. If I remember correctly, there's like a boss hidden over here somewhere. in half an hour chunks, I think. And one of the things is, I can technically play any type of character I want, and I don't really have much to switch or do. I just have to switch what item I'm using, and that determines basically how I level. I think I'll probably go through the first dungeon. 
if I remember my way through it. Oh, nice. Uh, one of the main reasons this got me into playing uh, action RPGs is simply because uh, I learned to edit this game. Uh, this is the first time I really started experimenting with uh, scripting and um, I would ed do a lot of Apex editing for this to make my own unique items and once I realized that there's so many mods for this too, it's just such an awesome... I, I had a blast playing this one. This is still actually pretty awesome right now. Can I turn enemy nameplates on? Is that an option? What's in the house? Oh, magic armor? Nice. I think... I can't use it just yet. Okay. Stat-wise, I think it tells what they do, don't they? Intelligence increased mana reserves, dexterity increased weapon accuracy and armor rating, and strength increases melee damage. Pretty straightforward. So sometimes uh, you'll level up different stats to increase different stuff. So this is leveling a bit slow right now, so we're going to go ahead and shoot some things. I don't know if this is the most efficient way. This is just what I used to do, so. The longer you go in between, the uh, longer it takes to level each one, so. It's doing three damage a piece now, so that's better. That's the, that's it, there's a little hidden boss in there. Yeah, I started messing with uh, level editors and um, all sorts of other stuff. Level editors, scripting, uh, and this bear drops like a magic item or something, I don't remember. But it hits kind of hard. I'm only doing one damage a piece to it. That's crazy. Do I have enough health potions? Yeah, I can make it through this. Yeah, 
Yes. Best initial armor in the game. Uh, let's switch out some gear. And then I should be able to just go like this. There we go, that auto loot feature. Yeah, I started, but uh, it, this game had like full terrain editor built into it and all sorts of other stuff that uh, Microsoft offered right through their website that you could just down and download and modify. It's really awesome. Here's the first actual, like, rare. I did not play Diablo um, 2 originally, as the game title would have kept it out of my house alone. So, I didn't start playing that till later. This is where I started playing uh, ARPGs and RPGs in general. It wasn't my first RPG by any means. Played a considerable amount of... Pokemon, Legends of Zelda, uh, for the Nintendo 64, so the Queen of Time, um, and Majora's Mask. I did not play the previous ones, most of my RPG experience was in Pokemon previously. Pitchfork is 10% of chance to block melee. So now when I cast spells, I can actually have a little bit of defense added in. <laughs> it looks so funny. Just remember in 2002, this was uh, pretty solid graphically. Now it, lo it actually still looks okay. It's not the best in the world. The lake. Oh, uh, oh, nice. I'm gonna take that so I can heal myself now. Go ahead, level this up. I said, I think. Pretty sure the door burst open. Does it? Maybe not. Oh no, there's a guy in here. Edgar. Oh, watch it. Edgar's gonna. you'd be cleaving your way to Stonebridge to find out what's got the Krugel stirred up. If you could spare a few minutes to help an old neighbor before you go. I've a f when I realized the Krug were actually attacking us, I tried to get to the safety of my cellar, but they had a little welcome party waiting for me. If you need any supplies for the long trek to Stonebridge, and wouldn't mind clearing out the remaining Krug downstairs, you can help yourself to whatever you need from my stalls. This is a seamless game too, which is so nice. Oh, good amount of gold actually. Um, the 
Yeah. A nice little trick in here. There we go. Nothing in the stores. Until you see the little secret right here. Now there's a little mini boss right here. Should probably do these first. Target strongest? What's the other option? Target weakest. Take some health potion. This is party formation built into it. We're so cool. Come on. Ooh, a new staff? Is that better? Two to four, ten percent? No, it's not. This guy's got a crazy cellar. about a half an hour at a time and I like this little timer up here I'm trying to get to the first dungeon so I think I go this way I really don't need to stop and do everything I will do the side quest because it, it doesn't take overly long but Zap at level two. Oh, my nature magic. Okay, gray bar indicates progress towards the next nature magic. And nature magic does what? So I can use a higher level of it? I'm not really sure. I think so. There are so many good features in this game. I like how you have this... Who is it? A Krug Shaman? Apprentice. Just punching me. I think they cast spells. Maybe I should... I don't know. Do you target the strongest or the weakest? I guess right now maybe we target the strongest. You know what? Actually, it's this. It's probably this. Target closest. myself. Oh, nice little Krug cave. There's the next boss. I knew he's around here somewhere. Couldn't remember if this is the right cave or not.
That feels like cheating. Is full. What? That's crazy. All right, and then I think we go like this. Transmute. Oh, you gain. Uh, that's crazy. You can level nature magic by transmuting. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. I think it's Alt. Better than my current bow. Nice. Oh, I got some boots. Oh, that is so convenient. How's that? 8 to 14. That's even better than the one I had. Okay. Zap is 6 to 9. And this is... Uh, that's better, actually. How's the bow still better? That's silly. Surprise from the bush. And behind. That'd be more effective in the long run. too bright, but today I seen everything. They torched this here bridge, and then set to driving a wagon caravan across while it was still a burden. Now the only way to Stonebridge is that a ways, and that means going through the old crypts to the road beyond. You ain't gonna catch me going that way. Alright, make our way to the old caves. Ooh, there's a wolf. Yeah, I think we can go like this. Game. I think I can turn the game speed up to 1.2. That's gonna feel more comfortable. There's multiple wolves up here. cross the path back up here and I'll still to fight them. Oh, 
Oh no! I just died. No, oh, that's crazy. Yes, I'll live the last save. Uh, where'd I save? Oh, good lord. Okay. So I gotta talk to this guy again. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Audio. Input game. Input. Video. Nope. Audio game. More. Input. Hotkeys. I'm looking for what? Maximize weapons panel W. I don't know what that means. Game timer is semicolon. Okay. 28 minutes. Damn the last. Out of sort. Nice. Okay. Let's go up here and redo this part. I even knew it was coming, I still managed to die to it. I wasn't I was trying to rearrange this stuff so that healing hands was active and I misclicked, so I couldn't go like that. The rest of the guys are just use potions, there's no point of switching. It's a healing shrine. Let's go stand on this. You can do combat on this and fight the wolf at the same time. Look at those visual effects. It's amazing. Alright, now we're going to stand on this and shock things. They can still damage me, but they shouldn't be able to kill me. Explore everything out here in these maps. Dang. That's crazy. Considering whether to take other party members because you can get them, I think I will. It's a lot of fun to make crazy parties, like all range stuff and just alpha strike. I don't know, that's what I enjoy doing. I actually normally made a balanced party if I'm being honest though. I normally had like two melees and you can put them all on uh, different like settings to do. their dinner.
Oh my gosh. For Skelly. spell being ridiculous. Major magic was always a bit slow, but that's what I'm using right now. Alright, so I found the crypt. If I remember correctly... I think there's a secret around here. secret is. Maybe it's behind the, the entrance to the crypts? I can't remember. I thought there was a secret around here. Because the way they set this up, you can walk through a lot of that undergrowth stuff. Which is really kind of cool. Alright, maybe it's not here. I don't know. Let's do it. Maybe it's not here. This right here is a... There we go. There's the autosave. So that is my cue to save the game as well. And we're going to go ahead and exit right here. This is a good point to stop. disabled. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Alright, let's see here. You know, I didn't, uh... 
I was considering just doing the first part, but I think I'm going to end up playing through the whole thing. And it's not going to be, it's going to be a slow playthrough, but uh, I'm just going to have fun with it. That's it for those one. Thanks for watching.